Awesome. Okay. So while you're waiting for your cloud credit funding, um, here's a, a quick few slides on some things that you can do in Biodata Catalyst Power by Terra. So uh, you can start by checking out the Biodata Catalyst uh, website and seeing um, here's just a, a nice little picture of how you can find both of the workspaces uh, or platforms, Seven Bridges and Terra, and you can get more documentation and launch them from this picture, from this uh, part of the of the website. Um, if you end up going towards Terra, you can go ahead and sign in with a Google account. Um, and from there, uh, you a little note is that you're not initially um, linked in with any of the frameworks. So you'll have to kind of sign in if you would like to, for example, get your dbGaP um, authorized data set that you know is already available, maybe TCGA, for example, um, if you want to be able to analyze that in the workspace, you need to go ahead and link that up in your profile. Uh, the next slide, please. Okay, and um, while you're waiting, if you are really eager to get started um, with creating workspaces, you can actually request from Google $300 in free credits, and you can use that to get started. Uh, that's a pretty quick process uh, that you can go through. Next slide. And then finally, um, we, we again recommend checking out the showcase section to look at all the featured workspaces that are there. You can see um, the different workflows, a little based for Terra um, and different notebooks that uh, different, different groups have created to, to showcase uh, different types of analyses. And that's it for me. Fantastic. So on Seven Bridges, it's pretty uh, similar here that Tiffany had walked through launching. You can join the Biodata Catalyst ecosystem, and then you can launch any of the platforms or explore a little further, participate in the forum. For Seven Bridges, you do need an ERA Commons ID in order to log in. So in number two there, you see the login with ERA Commons in the center of that little screenshot. Um, you need to confirm the access to Gen, Gen 3. That's just a click through. Um, for authorization, it's more important if you have approved dbGaP um, uh, dbGaP credentials, uh, and then provide some information. So log in, um, just your your email address if communications are necessary. Next slide, please. In Seven Bridges, however, you can explore the entire ecosystem. You just can't run computes. Uh, without having a pricing group and billing set up. So you can still click through, you can look through, see uh, what does that ecosystem look like? Uh, what, you know, there's public projects on there, um, which are kind of demonstrations tutorials. You can see here the Genesis tutorial. Um, you can see what kind of apps we offer. So those pre-built CWL, those workflows, those tools, what are we already offering? And you can figure out uh, how this will best suit your analysis needs, even before putting money forward or while you're waiting on those cloud credits to approve. I think that kind of covers.